All right, teacher. Hello, Manuel. How are you? Uh, tired. Yeah. Yeah, I understand you. <laughs> All right. So, did you join the yesterday's class, Manuel? Because I don't uh, remember seeing you, right? Yes. Uh, he uh, had a lot of work. A lot of work, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Don't worry I about was uh, at the end of the month, cierre de mes. Mm -hmm. The end of the month, yes. All right. Uh, in my work. Okay. Yeah, I understand. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a teacher, right? <laughs> of course. But I work with, uh, with teenagers at a private school. So trabajo en un colegio privado, perdón. And okay. we finish until December 15th. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and next week is exams. And this, this weeks we have to uh, check a lot of things. And mm -hmm. I have, I have, uh, I teach 10 grade A, 10 grade B, decimo A, decimo B, decimo C, 11A, and 12B. So I have like almost 130 students. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nah. that's the way it is. <laughs> and you, right? <laughs> yes. And then you. So it's like I have uh, five groups of students, including you. <laughs> Hi. Yes, and in 10 grade, in 10 grade is 30 students, 10 grade B is 30 more, 10 grade C is 30 more, and then 24 or 25 in, in 12. O sea, tengo todo bachillerato. <laughs> yeah, but that's the way it is, you know, that's the way it yes. is. Yes. Yes. All right, okay. so we have uh, Jose, Raquel, and Zulma over here. All right, so puntualmente, ¿tienen alguna pregunta acerca de las indirect questions? Obviamente vamos a seguir practicando este día. ¿verdad? Y voy a seguir explicando, o sea, no se preocupen. Porque esa, esa cuestión es un poco más difícil, así se lo digo. Así que no se frustren si cuesta al principio o no sé, no captamos. Entonces... Acuérdense que uno poco a poco, ¿verdad? De repente un día no entiende nada y el siguiente día o después de repente uno ocupa una expresión o algo y dice, ok, eh, algo, lo estudié quizá, ¿verdad? O lo vi algún, en alguna parte. O sea, eso pasa bien seguido. All right. Vamos All a ver. Right. So, yesterday we were studying this. So, I remember I explained to you this. Con el verbo to be, lo que se hace es una inversión de la pregunta y se pone como una forma de oración simple. All right. Si fuera pregunta right. es, what time is it? Like this, right? So, what time is it? Y el can you tell me or, can, or do you know? Solo es como de relleno. Es una estructura. Digamos, es parte del script que va ahí. Ok. Eh, when we use the, the simple present like do, or does, um, lo mismo. Lo único que hacemos es borramos el auxiliar. So that's the only thing we do. All right? So, where do you work? Le puedo preguntar, eh, Manuel, pero es como un poquito más directo. Pero si hay confianza, usted me va a decir, trabajo aquí. Eh, ok. Pero si yo le quiero preguntar de una forma quizás más educada o más suave, le puedo preguntar, can you tell me? Or... Obviamente no le puedo decir, do you know, vea, si le pregunto del trabajo porque sí sabe a dónde va a trabajar. <laughs> ok, so that's what I'm asking you. So can you tell me, please, eh, Manuel, where you work? Entonces borramos el auxiliar y de ahí solo nos quedamos con el sujeto y el verbo. Ok. Si estamos hablando de una tercera persona, como digamos... Yeah, I want to know about Jose, or I want to know about Nati, or about Raquel, or about Tani, or Zuma. Okay, so yo le pregunto a usted, Manuel. Le pregunto, eh, ¿dónde trabaja ella? Where does she work? And then you can tell me, uh, eh, she works, y ya me responde. ¿verdad? Pero si yo le quiero preguntar, si no fuera un poquito más aquí, contacto, eh, le puedo preguntar, do you know, or can you tell me, or do you know, sabe usted, or, or sabes, o sabes tú, do you know where 
quién? Where she works. Muy importante. This is very important, everyone, to conjugate the verb. Remember that when we use a third person singular, you gotta add the S. You say, for example, my mom, my mom works at a hospital. My mom uh, takes care of my brothers. My mom uh, wakes up very, very early. So that's what you gotta do, all right? And that's just grammar, okay? You gotta be careful with grammar, all right? Any questions about uh, question number one, number two, and number three? Do you have any questions, by the way? Or we're clear over here. All right, so I think no questions over here. Now, the question number four is just another example with the verb be, okay? But in this case, it's you. You is the subject. And if you want to be more polite, hay grados como de, como de, de cortesía, right? Uh, you, you can say, uh, What's your name? Or, you know, that's a little bit rude. Or you can say, uh, uh, can you tell me, right? Or could you tell me, okay? Or I was wondering, like this one, you know, I was wondering, this. You know, I was wondering. Me preguntaba si usted, no sé, okay? In this case, it's the same thing. Ponemos solo, can you tell me, or could you tell me, de relleno? Y luego escribimos, how old? Y le damos vuelta, how old you are, okay? And then the last one, if we're talking about the past, the past over here. What did you eat for lunch uh, yesterday, eh, Manuel? You may tell me. Why are you asking? ¿Por qué pregunte? ¿Por qué le interesa? Right, you, you can say that. Si es que no dice que le importa, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Entonces, you, you gotta be careful. Yo le puedo preguntar. So I was wondering, me preguntaba, what you ate for lunch. Digamos que usted va donde el doctor. So you go to the doctor, and the doctor asks, Okay, so uh, do you remember, okay, do you remember what you ate for lunch yesterday? Okay, these are the types of questions, you know, they ask, okay. All right, so uh, in, uh, in the past, again, utilizamos cualquier estructura de relleno. Podemos utilizar, can you tell me, can you, uh, do you know, or could you, uh, I was wondering, y luego lo demás es historia, right? Could you tell me, okay, what you, Pasado, eight, in este caso, eight for lunch. All right? So now let me tell you this. But what happens, you know, what happens in a yes, no question? Either in, in present or past or future, you know, it doesn't really matter. So what happens if you have a yes, no question like this one? So let's say I'm asking a, a familiar face over here. So I'm going to ask. Let's say, let me just go full screen over here. Nati, so Nati, uh, so did you take a shower? <laughs> Don't tell me yes or no, okay? Uh, but you may say yes, but I can also ask you, uh, do you remember uh, if you took a shower uh, yesterday? You're, you're right, if, see. Me podría decir si sí, usted tal cosa, all right? Le pregunta a su esposo o su mamá, okay, o su hermana. So they ask you, eh, ¿pagaste la luz? ¿Pagaste el recibo de la luz? O, o le pregunta a su, su, su esposo o su esposo o alguien, eh, ¿te acordás si, pagaste, si pagamos el recibo? Okay, del teléfono o, de, o, o del internet. Esa es una indirect question, okay? You can say, do you remember if you paid the electricity bill, all right? So that's a yes, no question, all right? Et cetera, et cetera, over there. So let me write this structure over here. Let me exemplify it to you, all right? So just one second, over here. So questions about, uh, uh, you know, uh, until right now, everyone? All right, so you may say, yes, I understand, but you know, what happens is that sometimes when we practice, we make mistakes, but that's okay. I mean, so no problem. All right. So like this one, take a look. Did you take a shower? You may say, uh, do you remember if few, it's the past, took a shower, all right? 
like this. I can ask you this one. Uh, does he have a, a job, for example? Tiene trabajo, o no sé qué. All right, so I can ask you, uh, can you tell me if you have a job? I'm sorry, uh, if she, estoy preguntando acerca de alguien más, if she has a job. No sabe si tiene trabajo ella. You know, that's an indirect question, mother. All right? Just like this. ¿Qué es si? ¿Y es? If significa sí, si, pero de condición, no de sí, si, de, de afirmación. All right? If. All right? Um, I don't know. The, um, just like this. Do you have a brother, for example? Do you have a brother, I'm asking you, all right? Yo le pregunto, ¿sabe si tiene hermanos? Okay. Uh, do you know if... Pongámoslo así, all right? Does he have a brother, okay? Do you know? Yo le pregunto a Manuel, okay, Manuel. Do you know if Nati, do you know if... Or do you know if Jose has a brother? Porque la pregunta original era, ¿tiene hermano él? Does he have a brother? Pero yo lo estoy preguntando a usted, Manuel. All right. Do you know if Jose Sierra has a brother? Okay. Si, si yo eh, highlight this, you know, si pongo esto en negrita, o como sea, con otro color. Esta es una estructura de una oración. José has a brother. Pero la pregunta es, do you know if José has a brother? All right. Ustedes se fueron de viaje y ustedes... Uh, ok, apagué la luz. ¿Te acordás si apagamos la luz? Do you remember if we turned off the lights? All right. So just like that. Just like that. So, but right now, let's get to practice a little bit over here. Ok. But before we do so, all right. Let me just go ahead and show you the uh, word of tonight, by the way. All right, so just one second over here. And I'm sorry about the Spanglish, but I really needed to explain this to you. All right, so just one second over here. Uh, all right. Here we go. All right, so as always, we have this word and uh, this is actually a phrase. And I chose this word for you, everyone, because Christmas celebration is coming. And of course, you gotta buy new clothes. Like we call it in Spanish, you, you gotta buy los estrenos, right? You gotta buy estrenos over there for the family. So you gotta go shopping. So that's why sometimes things cost an arm and a leg, like this one. Okay, what does that mean? That they are very expensive, like we said in the Spanish, cuesta un ojo de una de la de la cara. All right. So that's the expression of tonight. Cost an arm and a leg. All right. For example, what cost an arm and a leg? I just heard that a uh, I, uh, I would say a game that I'm not supposed to say the name. Un videojuego, vale? A thousand five hundred dollars right now. All right? Or a, or a cell phone, you know? It's very expensive, like a thousand dollars over there. Or a computer could be very expensive too. When something costs an arm and a leg, it's very expensive. So notice the following. Housing these days costs an arm and a leg. Comprar una casa, verdad, sale caro. All right. So college cost me an arm and a leg. All right. And that's true. All right. So that's true over there. So just for you to know, cost an arm and a leg, that's a prediction for, for tonight. And it means that it's something is very expensive. All right. So that's it. By the way, so December uh, the 1st, all right, and then the last month of the year. And this is the grammar that I was talking to you yesterday. Okay which I already explained. You see, it doesn't really matter if you use the present 
with V or the present with do or does, or just another expression like this one. Where can I catch the bus? You are in the street and somebody asks, okay, donde es la parada de bus? All right. Or donde para el bus? All right. And then uh, you can ask, no sabe, no puede decir eh, donde, donde, donde puedo agarrar el bus. That's what, that's what we say, right? Do you know where I can catch the bus, right? Because the original question was, can I catch the bus? Okay. Se fijan en la estructura en negrita, acá, the, you know, the one that has been highlighted over here. Okay, so right now I'll be choosing, let's say, uh, you randomly, for example, I'm going to choose uh, Mr. Jose. Jose Sierra, could you please tell me this question indirectly, please? And I'll be choosing you. I'll be choosing eight of you right now, right? With this. La primera. Yes, the first one, sir. Can you tell me? How much the bus costs? How much the bus costs? Hey, ponga una S el costs. Costs. Okay. All right. No. Costs. All right. But the way you said it is just fine. You know, it, it, it's okay. All right. So uh, let me ask over here, <clears throat> Mr. Manuel, could you help us with number two over here? Where's the nearest internet cafe, sir? Recuerden, les pregunto y no es obligación en realidad que contesten. Eh, lo pueden anotar si se sienten con más confianza y o alguien, un voluntario me puede decir, teacher, I, I wanna, I wanna do it. All right, so no problem over here. No se sientan presionados. Okay. Yes, Manuel. Pero lo vamos a intentar. Lo vamos a intentar. Okay. Do you know where's the nearest internet coffee? Is in the end. All right. Is. Yeah, is. Si es el verbo to be, el is or el are va al final. So remember that, please. Okay. Será mi, mi duda, profe. Este, por, mm -hmm. como dice was, en la S, entonces ya se puede separar como where is. Exactly. ¿verdad? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. You got it. So, Manuel, one more time. So, do you know where... News, mm -hmm. internet, coffee. Ah, café. Y tengo que finalizar con qué? Con, 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 con el verbo. Con el verbo. Ah, el verbo. ok. Ah, ok. Al final. Sí. Ok. Ok. Entonces sería como. Do you know the nearest internet coffee? Where? Where? No, where? Where? Solo, o sea, el, 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 la so, palabra esta, how, where, what, en, en lo que sea, es, es su puente. Ah, okay. Es el puente de la frase, do you know or can you tell me? Ok. Yeah. Yeah. It's your bridge over there. So, do you know where? O sea, en otras palabras, lo único que cambia es que el is no va acá, sino que va hasta el final. De ahí todo es, lo, oh. todo es igual. Ah, oh, ok. Ok. Ajá. Entonces sería, do you know where the news internet cafe, coffee is? Correct, correct. You got it. In this case, it's cafe means cafeteria. O sea, el restaurante, no coffee de bebida. All right. All right, cafe. Okay, number three, and I have uh, Nati. Could you help us, please? What time do the banks open? Do you know what time do the bank opens? Thank you, yes. Pero hay que borrar el do. No ponemos auxiliares acá. So, would do you give it a try, please? Time, Thank you. Do you know what time the bank opens? Yes, pero en este caso no vamos a cambiar la oración eh, porque es plural. Entonces, eh, si es plural, se mantiene el verbo y usted no hace ningún cambio. ¿verdad? Y lo único mm -hmm. que hacemos es borrar el auxiliar. Y de ahí todo es prácticamente, do you know what time? The banks open. Yes, just like that. All right, just like that. Este es más fácil, ok, porque no hacemos ningún cambio gramatical. Eh, no sé, como, we don't change too much over here. There are not many changes. What we do is just erase do. And that's it. Do you know what time the banks open? Por casualidad, sabía que hora abre el banco. That's what we said in Spanish, right? And in Spanish, it's more complicated, by the way. 
And let's see, somebody else over here, uh, Raquel, if you can help us, please. How late do the buses run? Hasta que hora corre el bus, okay? O pasa, a que hora pasa el último bus? That's what we ask, mm -hmm. all right? Yes. Could you, uh, could you tell me how late the buses run? Correct, how, how late the buses run over there. Thank you. Let me just move come over here. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see who I have in here. Sulma, would you like to help us, please? Number five. Yes, please. Uh, can you tell me where can I can I get the quick meal? A quick meal. Ok, la única, la única eh, modificación es que después del can you tell me where, cambiamos el orden del sujeto y va primero antes del can. Ok. Can you tell me where, where I can? Yes. Uh -huh. I can get a quick meal. Yes, can you tell me where I can get a quick meal? Uh, intonation helps. If you do the right intonation, it helps. But now you got it, Soma. So that's perfect. All right. Yeah, okay. So now a volunteer, please, who can help me with number six, please. Anybody? Like just raising his or her, her hand over here. Me, me, teacher. All right. Go ahead, please. Uh, Thank you. Do you know how late the nightclubs stay open? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Actually, I don't know. You know? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, actually. Yeah, actually, they are closed now, right? Because of COVID 19. <laughs> <laughs> so don't go to Paso del Carmen. All right, so the last one, who says me? No, I'm sorry, number seven. So, how early do the trains run? Oh, ¿quién se anima? ¿Quién se anima? No, ¿quién se anima? Jose, Jose. Would you like to try? Would you like to try, please? Like, how early do trains run? Do you know how early the trains run? That's perfect. Nice. Thank you. And the last one, it would be, I don't know, Manuel, would you, would you like to give it a try over here? Where's an ex where's an ex an inexpensive hotel in this area? Está buscando un, un hotel barato, right? Inexpensive or cheap. Hey. Ajá. Intentémoslo. Puedo utilizar cualquier expresión, ¿verdad? Good. Cualquiera, Good. dependiendo qué, 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 uh, qué grado de cortesía. Qué cortesía. You know. Sí, me gusta mucho. Cool. Podría. Could you tell me where in, in, in expenses in, in expenses hotel in this area? Y cerramos con el verbo. Con el verbo. Is. Sí, lo que pasa es que está contractado acá. Entonces, ah, okay, no, sí. Ajá. O sea que al final es con es, es, Entonces sería. Could you tell me where an inexpensive, inexpensive hotel, hotel in this area is? is. Yes, is. yes, yes, correct. All right. I see that you got this already. So what you're going to do, the first activity, you're going to be working uh, as a group or in purse will be this, this uh, conversation. And then number two will be uh, some exercises. So I have this exercise, which is, where is the nearest bus stop? Okay, and then you're gonna make it as an indirect question with your classmate over there. And there's this one, okay? The one that says, where is the station? So could you tell me? And I, I already uh, gave you the beginning. So you let the inicio de las oraciones. So you can go, or you can change it if you want. You can go, could you let me know? Could you tell me? Could you explain, etc. cetera? Le dije, verdad, que do you know? Can you tell me? Son como lo más común. But you can ask, could you tell me? I was wondering, do you remember? Do you happen to remember? Or I'd like to know, etc. Okay? So right now, what you're gonna do is, so listen to this conversation, please. Part A and part B, 
Then I'm gonna send you to a breakout room so you can practice this conversation, plus this exercise in pair with the same person over there. Then you're going to come back to the main station and then I'm going to split you up again. Lo voy a dividir una segunda vez and this time you're gonna practice with somebody else. Okay, so, and then you can practice. Yo le pregunto a Tania, por ejemplo, so I can ask you, so where's the station? And then Tania can uh, tell me, could you tell me where the station is? All right, just like that. And then uh, Tania goes number two, are you coming to the party? And then I answer, could you let me know if you're coming to the party? Just like that, right? So you ask indirect, uh, directly, o sea, directamente, and then the person uses this grammar to, you know, to ask you again, but in a, in a more polite, o sea, más cortés. All right, so right now, uh, I have a question. When the verb is in ing, uh, no change when you, when you, yeah, when I, you I, do a indirect question. Yeah, you don't change anything, mother. and that's easier because, because you said, uh, ¿Qué estará haciendo mi mamá ahorita? Preguntale. That's what you say, right? Do you know what my mom is doing right now? Just like that. What, what you change is the order. So el orden cambiamos. But we don't modify anything over there. Okay? Like this one. All right? Okay. All right. Thank you. So uh, I'm going to play the listening so you can actually, uh, you know, pay attention to the pronunciation of Eric and Clerk and a clerk over there, and then you're gonna listen to part B. So let me just one second to get the, the, uh, the, the right uh, track over here. So just one second. All right, so just one moment. And, uh, should be Page 11, Exercise 8, Conversation. Could you tell me part A? All right, so were you able to listen to this? Yes. A, listen yes. and yes. practice. All right, yes, all right. Sir. All right, so let me like just rewind this and to play it from the very beginning, and then we'll take it from there. Page 11, Exercise 8, Conversation. Could you tell me part A? Listen and practice. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? <laughs> right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. All right, so as you can see, this gentleman is a little bit lost and he's looking for transportation and she uh, helps him a lot, okay? Restrooms, restrooms are the public bathrooms, okay? Those are the restrooms over there, okay? So now let's listen to part B of this conversation and to see uh, the rest of the conversation, actually, actually to listen to the rest of the conversation. What you're gonna tell me is the information that Eric asks for. For example, does he ask, you know, he already asks for the place where he can catch the bus. So he also asks how often the transportation runs. He also asks or is asking where the restrooms are. And, uh, and last but not least, maybe he has another question, you know, for the, for the lady over here. Maybe he's gonna ask the cost of a bus to the city or the location of a taxi stand, or maybe the cost of a guidebook, or maybe the, the location of, of a bookstore. So you're gonna tell me what the next question, you know, for him is, all right? So here we go, just one second.
Page 11, Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Check the information that Eric asks for. Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. All right, so as you can see, this lady is very kind. Es muy amable, you know, the lady is very kind. So, could you tell me the two things that Eric asked for, please? All right, so does he ask uh, for the cost of a bus to the city? Yes or not? Yes. All right. What's the other question that, that he asks for? Yes. So do you remember the second question over here? Is the because of a guidebook? Um, actually, no, not really. It's not that no. way. It's close. It's close. The bookstore. The, the bookstore. Correct. Correct. He asked about the bookstore. Yes. And then uh, the lady on, on the bus, she says that uh, the bus costs. So how much does a bus to the city costs do you do you remember how much a bus to the city costs do you remember twenty dollars twenty dollars and what about the taxi uh -huh. 50. 50 50 right like yes thirty dollars more over there yeah thanks that was great actually so now let me uh split you into uh purse and this is the first exercise you're gonna practice okay the second one will be this one okay so here we go just one second over here and all right well, let me just one second over here so it's only six of you in this meeting so very little i mean you're very few today all right so we got great Here we go. All right, so join the rooms, please. And let me send this uh, image to you. I mean, I'm gonna be sending two images to you right now, okay? Alguien más? Inicio. Yes. Excuse me. Could you tell me 
where the nearest nearest ATM is. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Can you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs across from the duty free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes. En la primera, dígase la. En, en la primera de las preguntas. Sería, ah, del, del este, ejercicio. We, where's the, sí. sí, del ejercicio. Ah, permítame. Permítame y ahorita lo. Okay. Right, so this one, right? This one, Ajá. yes. Uh -huh. La, la respuesta, digamos la, 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 digamos, la pregunta como un poco más, más civilizada sería, estamos discutiendo eso, sería como, do you know where the nearest bus stop is? Al final. Yes, do you know where exactly, where the nearest bus stop is? De hecho, usted tiene la mala suerte, Manuel, que las tres que le he preguntado <laughs> le tocaron de la misma. <laughs> Y todavía no lo había aprendido hasta que José me dijo que cuando está contraído siempre al final lleva el listo. Sí, eso me acordé yo de que en el discurso que estuve antes, este, como se como las palabras, así que decía Word, la, la poníamos en Word. Ajá, sí, muy buena la, práctica es. Es como lo mismo, pero... Así como acá, mire Manuel, Manu, Manuel, aquí dice, en esta conversación dice, there's one upstairs, aquí está diciendo, there is. Okay. Lo que pasa es que esta gente, estos gringos, eh, todo contractan, entonces that's a problem, ¿verdad? Como para hablar menos, ¿verdad? ¿no? <laughs> exactly. Como ellos siempre andan, cuestión de dinero, ¿verdad? Entonces, so that's why. All right. All right, but in the second, yeah, what, but uh, like that is what the best way to see the city. Uh, mm -hmm. Seria, do you know what the best way to see the, the city is? Yes, correct. Correct. You got it. You got it. Yes. Vemos, pues. I'll be back. All right. Behind. Right behind you. Do you see where that thing is? Science. Science. Science is. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks a lot. All right. So let's move on over here with this uh, grammar practice, please. You have uh, seven uh, questions over there. They are direct questions, so your job is to ask them indirectly, please. I sent this to the chat, by the way, so. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. The first one is, do you know where the nearest bus stop is? Correct, correct, yes. Mm -hmm. And maybe this. Uh, let's go, let's, if you want, let's go one by one, you know, so everybody has a chance okay. to, to practice over here. I don't know, maybe uh, this is Chavez okay. over there and then Tanya, right? Do you know uh, what's the best uh, way to see the city is? Yes, yes, correct. Yes, remember that over here we erased the verb right here. So we delete it and then we put it in the end, like you said over there. But right now, try to make it with, with, uh, uh, with intonation, right? So do you know, do you know where the best way to see the city is? You know, so that's the idea, you know, to, to do the right intonation. Okay. Continue, please. I'm going to visit some other room. Do you know 
Do you know where I can get? No. Do you know where I can get a study discount of a meal? Student discount discount of a meal. Teacher, mm -hmm. tenemos duda en la en la number four. Ah, eh, yeah. Ahí se elimina el auxiliar, Daos. Sí. Le voy a compartir la pantalla para, para no. mayor seguridad. Ahí estamos. So, which one are you talking about? Six. Four. 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 Vaya, quizás una, una clave ahí es cuando esté el do o el das, simplemente, y voy, voy a ocupar esa palabra, simplemente lo borramos y si el verbo hay que conjugarlo porque está hablando de tercera persona como la ciudad o ella o él, hay que conjugar mm -hmm. el verbo, ¿ok? Pero, si en este caso es plural o es you... They or we, o bastantes personas, por ejemplo, solo borramos el auxiliar y ahí queda bien bonito. Completa. ¿no? Queda completa. Just like that. Entonces, ¿Cómo queda ahí entonces? <laughs> uh -huh. So, how much? Ok, so can you tell me how much? Y no se le agrega nada más. La S, porque es tercera persona, tiene que agarrar la S. Ajá, cost. Uh -huh, cost. Ok, cost. cost. Yes. You got an, uh, aquí le agrega la S. Pero si se va a la sexta, will you say, what time do the museums open? ¿Cómo sería, mano? La seis sería, mm -hmm. eh, do you know what, do you know what, what time? Ajá, uh -huh, what time? What time the pero Ajá. se le quita la S, ¿verdad? O ahí se queda. No, 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 así como open. está, solo, solo le borra el auxiliar. Yo antes me, me confundía que le agregaba la S a Open, pero mmm, me aclaró usted que como ya es plural. Ajá, mm -hmm. exactamente. Ajá, so, do you know where... Pero también podría cambiarle como, could you tell me what time eh, the music open? Exacto, si usted es 100%, no sé, respeta o algo, le puede decir eh, por casualidad o podría o me preguntaba o no le molesta, cosas así. All right. So you can go, so uh, could you tell me what time? Ajá. Uh -huh. The museum open. The museums, museums, museums open, just like that. All right, just like that. All right, so one more minute and then we're going to come back, okay? Okay, okay. All right. All, right. All right, so I guess you finished already, didn't you? Yes. All right, so so let's uh, let's go back to the main station and I'm going to uh, split you again, but with somebody else. And in this case, you're going to be working on this. Aquí sí se van a dar gusto. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Teacher, so, and, yes. and the auxiliar uh, can. Uh -huh. uh, the question is, do you know where I rent a bicycle? It, it's the same yes. as the verb. It's the same as the verb. The, the three? You just, you just change the order over there. You just change the order. Siempre va el can. Yes. You don't erase anything. I, you you just change the order because it's an auxiliary, just like be, like just like is, just like are. It's an auxiliary. Okay, but in this case, it, it needs to be here. Do you know? Do you know where? Where I can okay. where I can rent a bicycle? Mm -hmm. Or can you tell me number seven? Can you tell me number seven? Where? Where I can. Exactly. Music. Yeah. Do you know where I where I can uh, uh, hear live music over there? All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be close in the rooms right now. All right. Okay. So one second, Molly.
All right, so welcome back everyone. So right now we're going to practice this. And again, I'm going to be sending you to a breakout room, but in this case, you're gonna practice with somebody else, all right? And it's up to you how you decide to uh, practice this, but one way that you can do so is, for example, I'm practicing with, uh, let's see, with Jose, Mr. Sierra. And then I ask, I ask you in the, uh, directly, I ask you, where's the station? And then you tell me, could you tell me where the station is? Or I just can, uh, you, you tell me, Jose, you tell me, okay, tu turno, it's your turn, number two, and I go. All right, so could you let me know if you're coming to the party? So you go straight to the, to the indirect question, mother. so you skip this one, but that is up to you, all right? And maybe once you finish everything, when they are terminating todo, de no se la ves, you can, do, you can do this like a conversation. Could you tell me where the station is? Eh, could you let me know if you're coming to the party, etc.? O sea, después cada uno lo dice todo. You can say everything. Or whatever. So that is up to you if you want to take advantage of this. O sea, ustedes pueden variar la forma en que participan. Okay? All right. So the idea is to practice as much as you can. All right? So that's the point over there. So just one second over here. Eh... So let me just one second. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see, Jose. No, let me. Right, let me just uh, open this again. Hold on. All right. Yes, better now. All right, so Jose is with Tania and Zulma, Manuel is with Nati, and, Ch and Chavez is with Raquel. All right, so go ahead, please, and join the rooms. So I'm going to send this image to you right away, okay? All right, so join the rooms, please, uh, Tania, please, and also Sulma. Thank you. Tell me where, where the station is. Number two. Uh, can you let me know? You come into the party, R. If you, if you. Ah, cuando lleva el R, el if. No, cuando es una y es no question. Esa es la regla general. Cuando, cuando no tiene el what, el where, el, el how, es una y es no question. O sea, va a decir sí o no. Y el R va de último. Es lo mismo. Lo, lo único que cambia es que le agrega aquí, en lugar de ponerle where or how, le agrega el if. De ahí todo es igual. Entonces, eh, could you tell me if, eh, now? Uh -huh. No, could if, you let me know? Uh -huh. If, if you. Could you let me know if you come in to the party? Eh, lo que, vaya, solamente, de hecho, creo que es un poquito más fácil. Lo que hacemos es ponerla esto como oración. Over here. Just like this. All right. So, could you let me know if you if you are coming to the party? Right. Like you see, like you see number number 10. It's a yes no question. You see? Do you drink coffee? But I can ask, I was wondering. Uh-huh. If you if you if you drink coffee? If you drink coffee, right? Because it's present, right? It's present. Uh, Just like that. Okay. okay. The same thing, yes. La idea, and listen to this, please. So the idea is that the second, the last part, o sea, después de, could you tell me, I was wondering, uh, 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 etc. Tiene que ir en estructura de oración, no pregunta. O sea, no puede poner aquí invertido. Eh, I was wondering if you, do you drink coffee? No, you don't say that. 
okay? So you don't say that, all right? So try to continue, please. Number three. All right. You have to change. Could you tell me Lucy has been to Mexico? If she said, Lucy, what? if, if Lucy. If, if I have, if, okay. It is here, it sería, sería, could you tell me if Lucy been to Mexico? Eh, o al revés. No, así está bien, pero, pero solo la idea es, you know, the idea is that you don't write two questions in the same line. Okay, so that's the idea. O sea, por eso es que aquí tienes que poner una estructura de oración. En este caso es, Lucy has been to Mexico. Ok. So, could you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? Has been to Mexico. Like, like, yeah. like the last one, Nati, right? This one. It's a, o sea, la regla es, if it's a yes, no question, solo invertimos si hay un auxiliar, pero si está el do, igual, siempre lo borramos. We erase this. Ok. En uh, number three, teacher, sorry, este, el dash se elimina, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Yes. Always. Oh, so, could you, could you explain? Ajá. It's how. Could you play how it uh -huh. works? How it works. Correct. 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 Yes. That's nice. Nice. Okay. That is number five. Number five, I'd like to know. No sé. Ahí está ya. Ajá. Aquí está. Teacher. Uh -huh. Es que tengo una duda en la cuatro, porque no. I don't know if it is. Um, could you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? That's or, perfect. That's perfect. That's could perfect. Could you tell me, Lucy? Yeah. Okay. If. Yes. Yes. And there's a. All right, so there's there's a general rule that we have to remember. For a yes, no question, that connector between the uh, this expression, between could you tell me, uh, do you know, can you tell me, etc., is mm -hmm. if, if, if is the bridge. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. could, you let, could you let me know if, if you are coming to a party? Okay. Yeah. So after this, you know, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put here. And after this, it's a sentence, just a sentence, or a, no question. And, and the five. Number five. Uh huh. I I'd like. I'd like to know. Um, uh, where you are from. Correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. De donde eres, cierto. Where you are from. Yes. What we do is we change the order over here. You see. Yeah. Just, just like a sentence, and just like that. What about what about the last one, number ten? Do you drink coffee? By the way, I'm asking you right now, right? Raquel, do you drink coffee? <laughs> I was wondering. Uh, I, I was wondering um, if you drink coffee. Yes, correct. Just like that. Okay. And also, a general understanding is that you erase do and does, just like that. You erase that. Ah, uh, but but in the third, uh, when I say, could you could you explain me how mm -hmm. it work it? I see how how it present right. It's a present. How it? Yeah. Uh huh. Can how it work? How it works because it's third person. How it works. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so how third... it works. Yes. How it works. Could you explain yes. me how it works? Yes. How it works. Okay. Nice. All right. Did you finish all of them already or not? No, not yet. Okay. That's okay. Keep on practicing. I'm going to visit some other rooms over here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So one second. Cuatro, tengo la duda que dijo, en vez de ask, is. En la? En la, en la cuatro. Can you me? If Lucy has been to Mexico. If, if if have been to Mexico. Yes. Could you tell me? Could you could you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? Mexico. Yes. O sea, no pueden ir dos preguntas en la misma oración. No. Primero comenzamos. Uh, could you let? Could you tell me if 
if you, uh, if you did the platform already. Okay, yo le, pre yo le pregunto, did you do the platform already? Pero si quiero suavizar esa pregunta, le puedo decir, could you tell me if you did the platform already? Or if you completed the platform already? Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, could you let me know? Estoy ocupando, y esto sí se usa. Could you let me know, please? Or could you tell me if you finish already these exercises or not? I mean, so I'm yes. asking you, did you finish everything right now? Yeah. Nice. Uh, right, teacher, so. uh, the mm -hmm. nine, could you tell me he is a lawyer? If. 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 Could you tell me if he? If he, he. is a lawyer, yes. Mm -hmm. so, he is uh, a lawyer, yes. You know, for a, a yes no question, you know, number two is a yes no question because it's are you coming to the party? Number four is also a yes no question because I'm asking has Lucy been to Mexico, yes or not? Okay, number nine, it's also a yes no question because is he a lawyer or are you a lawyer? And the last one, number 10, is also a yes no question. So if it's a yes no question, you put if, okay? I was wondering if you drink coffee, okay? Could you let me know, number two, could you let me know if you're coming to the party? ¿Vas a venir a la, a la fiesta o no? Me puedes decir si vas a venir a la fiesta. That's what we say, right? Okay, mm -hmm. and, and number nine, could you tell me if he's a lawyer? Solo es un charlatán, you know, just like that. All right. All right, so let's, let's go back to the main station and let's do the last activity for the night, all right? All right, so welcome back everyone. Do you have any questions about this? Because it's, it's almost time for us to uh, leave, all right? Any questions? Or are, are you are you okay? Any doubts about this? Otherwise, we will continue. Okay. Two questions. Yes, Three. Sir, go ahead. Two <laughs> and number number five. Uh, number five. Mm -hmm. I like to know where are you from? Or from you are. It's actually where you are from, okay? Where you are from. Where you are, where from. You are from, yes. No yes. se cambia. Como no, porque la oración es, where are you from? Where are you from? But then we say, mm -hmm. I like to know where you are from. You are from? You are? Yes, yes. Se invierte. Suena raro, por eso no la quería Sí, suena, suena raro, pero es la estructura correcta. Es, no pueden ir dos preguntas a la par. Okay. okay. Eh, so, entonces, no, number seven is, is igual, ¿no? Uh, seven is, what are you doing right now, Manuel? You, you, and then I'm asking you, do you have any idea what you are doing right now? <laughs> ¿Tiene idea de lo no. que está haciendo? <laughs> no. <laughs> La verdad, no. <laughs> All right. So that's, is, that's the type of question we ask, however. And just for you to keep this in your mind, okay? Las que están en círculo, number two, if it's in circle, number four, number nine, and number ten are yes, no question. Okay. And then we say, I was wondering if you drink coffee. Okay. Could you tell me if he is a lawyer? Number two, could you let me know if you are coming to the party? All right. And number four, could you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? Just like that. All right, so I gotta say uh, thank you and hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna keep on practicing with indirect question. All right, there's a conversation, there's a quiz, and there's this vocabulary, another conversation, and then we continue with it. Okay. So have a good night, everyone. See you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, you too. Goodbye. See you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Goodbye. So thanks for joining the class, you know. Bye-bye.